First question is from Coolio Colin 2. What are some ways to stop binging every time you go over your calories a little bit? Oh, Shock yeah. collar. <laughs> it totally works. It works very, very effective. effective. This is a this is a really how you go into your diet really affects this a lot because if your mentality is very much like I'm on this strict diet and then if I break this diet, I've cheated on it. Mm-hmm. Okay, what it does psychologically is it creates this phenomenon where there's a line. Once you cross the line, well, I've already crossed the line. Yeah. Now I've already crossed all of it. Yeah, once. now that I've already crossed the line, it doesn't matter. So I might as well just go crazy. Also, it's the restrict mentality of when you're on your diet. And so what you're doing is you're constantly using willpower to restrict yourself. And the second you go off, the floodgates open. Now, why is this true? Well, think about the behaviors that you have when you binge versus when you just enjoy the same food, right? Like I could eat a cookie or two from a sleeve of Oreos and enjoy them. Binging is literally, I ate a whole sleeve of Oreo, or I ate so much I made myself nauseous. And as I'm eating one, I'm thinking about the next one. I'm not even enjoying what's in my mouth. Rather, the solution is to go into eating and understand all the value of food, Mm -hmm. and I'm eating to take care of myself, which sometimes means I eat a cookie, or sometimes means I eat a slice of pizza. That's also taking care of myself just differently. It's not physically good for me, but I'm enjoying this with my friends and my family, and it's not that big of a deal. This was a game changer for me because this used to be me. I would go to an event or something, and I'd find myself eating way more than I normally would because I felt so restricted before. And once I made the switch, it was really easy for me to have, like, you know, one, you know, well, burger or something You like that. see the difference when you're mentioning these processed foods. Like, I mean, that's – it. You, you get hooked, like, once you open that that's a good door, point. you know. And, and so, obviously, you got to be mindful of what types of foods, you know, you're, you're eating. Uh, one of the things, too, that's helped me a lot in terms of, like, not going over calories was just trying to seek out more satiating foods. And so, for me, it was like, you know, it's more protein adding that in, but, like, just having that – uh, that feeling of satiety where it's like, I, I'm not, I'm less likely to, to keep wanting to be snacky uh, afterwards. And so to, to introduce that first and then maybe adding, you know, the carbohydrates on top of that, uh, you know, afterwards was helpful. So I've had a lot of success with this. This is something I struggled with too myself. And um, I've had a lot of success with both myself and then, and then teaching clients this. Something that I found really common when this happens you you tend to not want um, to be aware. You you decide um and it, so you're distracted. It like almost always happens in front of the television, or on your phone, or maybe even at a party or a situation like that where you're not aware. And so until, instead of telling a client or even myself that like I can't have this, or even saying I can't binge something, I don't put those restrictions on myself. The rule I make myself is that I have to eat at the at the dinner table where there's no television nearby, I can't have my phone and just eat. Or if I'm going to go to a party, like I I still have to, if I'm hungry, I need to eat at that dinner table before I go to the party. So I'm not going to the party hungry and then I have all these distractions. Maintain awareness, right? Yeah, so just making you, forcing you to become aware and not telling yourself you can or cannot do something and you just say, listen, my one rule is I, I can eat all those foods if I really want them, but I'm going to sit at the dinner table and just with no phone, no TV. Mm-hmm. And it's amazing how how much because you're aware of what you're doing at the moment you just don't keep shoveling in your mouth yeah. you you eat and then you're you're full and you're satisfied and you're like I'm cool I'm, and I'm going to go put it away and then I'm going to go sit down but the, it's being in front of the TV that's where I mean if I'm in front of the TV that's yeah. where stuff can just keep going down just because of mindless eating yeah or on my phone watching YouTube videos or some bullshit and you'll and you're eating processed foods like you guys are talking about and you just keep shoveling away yeah and you and, and you find that and I'm sure you guys have experienced this you didn't even eat to enjoy the damn food no you eat until you made yourself feel bad yeah no, like, you're chewing and you're already yeah. getting ready to put the other yeah, one there's after, no more room yeah and then yeah. afterwards you're like oh I don't feel good and then you might even continue going it's it's a very interesting interesting uh, phenomena. The other part, and you kind of talked about this a little bit, Justin, is identify your trigger foods if you have any. Mm-hmm. I know what mine is. Yeah. Mine is potato, potato chips. chips. Yeah. Yeah. If I have, especially Lay's potato chips, that is that is so, <laughs> for me, it's so palatable yeah. that there's also this physical, like... They've mastered that engineering. Yeah. So I, what I do is I just don't have them. I just don't have them in the house. And if I do have them, I'll buy a single serving bag. I will almost never buy 
a family bag because the pull is so strong for me. So identify some of those trigger foods for yourself. Oh, I agree. But a, it's, a lot of this is is the psychological like, and, and you'll see it in the question even. The question says literally, what are some ways to stop binging every time you go over your calories a little bit? This person in their mind, whoever asked this question, for them, it's like I'm either at my calories. Now that I've gone over, I'm already screwed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's all or nothing. Right. It right. doesn't work that way. You go over a little bit, you went over a little bit. Yeah, you got to have flexibility. Yeah, it's not you know black or white at all. It's very gray when it comes to nutrition. So if you go over a little bit, that's okay. You went over a little bit. It's not like, oh, I'm already screwed. I might as well just go crazy and, and eat everything.